Hello, friends. Uh, another cold, crappy day in northern New Brunswick. Nothing to scream home for real. Scream boat. Just not very nice. Viewer uh, wrote, wrote him comments on one of the videos, asked me to do a review of the TYM 654. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Um, I'm going to do a quick run around review. I'm going to tell you. A couple of things that I don't like and some of the things that I do like first of all it is a really good looking tractor the styling is nice on these um, not you can't complain about that um, the the engine is a Deutz four-cylinder and I don't remember how, how many liters it is I'll look it up put the specs in the uh, in the description down below because I just don't remember that stuff off off hand off the top of my head uh, the motor lights up minus 30 degrees Celsius it lights up as long as the battery is good I mean it lights up quick it doesn't crank much at all because uh, he asked especially how it ran in the cold very good running tractor in the cold the the transmission is fine uh, the model that I have is an ag model, basically an ag only model. So what I'm doing with it here with the snow blower is not really, it, it'll do it and there's no problem there at all, but it's, that's not what its forte is. This for, the forte of this here particular unit, as you can tell with the ag tires, four wheel drive is to pull implements in a field. The transmission's designed around that, the drivetrain's designed around that. Although it does have a loader on it, the loader use, it's not its, it's uh, uh, sole intention. So it is more a more intended to be a, uh, an agricultural tractor. Uh, some of the really bad things, the paint on the roof hatch is all coming off and I've actually got rust going there. So I have to repaint that. The decals are junk. All the decals on this tractor are junk. They all peel. Um, it's terrible. Like, look. Every one of them were peeling. And it's like, you know what? Uh, $57,000 I paid for this tractor. You might want to put good decals on it. Um, the windshield washer fluid box, it rotted away in the sunlight. I got a free one under warranty. Uh, no issues there at all. It says UV, so I wonder if that's a new formula they're using. Um, it came with a slow moving triangle bracket. I've got that in the garage. I haven't put it on yet. It didn't come with the triangle though. That that would have been nice for the dealer to throw in. Uh, what else? Um, the fuel tank, the location is right where the water drips off the roof. That is a problem. So if you warm the tractor up and there's melting snow dripping off the roof, it goes into the fuel filler hole. And I did change one filter out. She wasn't running good. Um, but it was at the 50 hour change the filter time anyway. So I changed the filter. No big deal. But that is a, it's nice for pulling, for pouring with the jerry can. It's just in a terrible spot for water dripping off the cab, which I know that's not a deal breaker, but just something that you should be aware about. Dipstick location for the engine. Again, stuck behind wire harnesses, terrible to get at. So that's a little bit of an issue but it's not the end of the world um, what else we got uh, the no, fuel filters are nicely located I'm going to go around because I can't get through this way they're behind an access panel on I guess what would be known as the passenger side of the vehicle they're behind there so when you do the fuel filter service, easy to do. The oil change, you can see in my oil change video, was easy to do. Again, no issues there. Um, so let's get over here. Well, that's where all the oil, the fuel filters are behind this panel. Four bolts and you have access. It's uh, easy to get at, easy to get to more a little bit of rust so you know paint 
paint's a big issue on these tractors in my mind so get the black touch it up i gotta wax the hood it's starting to get a little bit dull but look at how terrible that sticker is just terrible the work lights they're not this model they're not led they're kind of crummy um, they're not the end of the world i'm gonna do some armor on it you can see stuff like cheapy screws you know i don't know like I don't want to seem like I'm nitpicky, but you know, some of the things it could be like, look, those stickers are terrible. Some of the things it could have did a tiny bit better on, and some of the things, you know, are fine. Uh, the seat is not height adjustable. So, so that's, and I'm a big guy and I'm tall. So I'm not sure how that affects anybody access to the cab is good it's pretty easy uh, again crappy stickers um, crappy stickers the four-wheel the pto lever at this particular model has uh 540 750 and 100 pretty cool 1000 i mean pretty cool setup i've never seen that on a tractor before getting in the cab nice and easy uh, dashboard is minimalist there's not a lot going on there uh, kind of cool with the PTO you have different selections you can do manual off auto and then it has a red light this one here that's for another on and off switch for the PTO lots of holes for spare switches um, I might put a 12 volt outlet on the front in the coming future uh, it does have uh, in the winter time glow plug mode on the ignition although I've never needed it and that's a glow plug override from the timer don't need it uh, air conditioning uh, it works good I haven't had any problems with it um, some complaints have been the headliners that I've seen online, I have no problem with mine at all. Um, no issues there. There is a 12 volt outlet that I use for my uh, my beacon because I use a beacon on this because my driveway shares the uh, that's your speed chair shares the uh, well, uh, it's because there's mailboxes, you can see them out there so the clutch she's a bit spongy at the top but it's there i might i don't know the free i might have to adjust it a little bit i do a lot of clutching doing the you know this shift lever here now this is the standard shift model uh the shuttle's for it is synchronized but it's not powered and you have to be careful with it because you got to make sure it's all the way engaged because it is a little bit tricky that's something that i don't like don't get in the habit of grabbing it here. Grab it out here. It gives you a more firmer feel. And uh, it's not always that easy when it's running. So that is something to watch out. Dual brakes are fine. Uh, parking brake lever works good. Just remember to release it. Hand throttle is excellent. The Deutz engine is unbelievable. Joystick control for the loader is right there. There is an auxiliary button you can add. Uh, Pre-select pre the transmission, four speeds there, and uh, low, medium, high on this stick. There is a creeper mode in the back, and there's four-wheel drive, so they actually say that uh, there's four ranges of four. I don't, know. I don't know how they figure out 24 speeds, but whatever. Well, I guess it's because four in reverse. I don't know. It's crazy doesn't have that many uh sound system that came in this is a camwood it's not bad i live in a french community so there's not only french so i don't listen to it that much F defrost you might think these are back defrost but they're not um they're only i guess to dry air in and move it around so i'm gonna play with that some more so some does have a tendency to de to frog up so you've got to make sure the the the, the the engine's good and warm in the winter time other than that i mean it's okay it's a tractor it's not a car right starting her pretty easy the 
beeping's new. I never heard that before. No, reverse, never mind. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, that's nice. It's freezing today. It's snowing out, obviously. She let right up. It's stone cold. About 102.9 on the clock. So it's basically 50 hours per season, although this season it's probably more like 70-30. Uh, because we did do a lot of work. Uh, headlight switch is easy to operate. So you got daytime, high beams, off, horn, turn signals. So it is set up for pulling a big trailer, four ways. So I think you're covered there. Uh, the shift for the PTO, if it's in automatic, whenever you raise the three point up, it'll shut it off or you step on the clutch, it'll shut it off. If you leave it in manual, it runs all the time. The loader's adequate. I mean, I've done some pretty, pretty big work with it, moving all this snow around here and it's not bad at all. The engine has a ton. That Deutz is a powerful little four-cylinder four diesel. Uh, she's rated, I think, 60 horse, 62 horse at the PTO. And push, pulling the, the, the snow, pushing a snowblower around, we use every horse. I mean, I've done some good work with it. Uh, runs quiet, you know, for a tractor. Um, you know, I, I think it's a great machine. There, like I said, there's just a few things that tick me off, and cheap decos is one of them. I'll do an individual uh, review on the, the blade and the snowblower. Uh, that's an HLA blade made near my home, near, near my kid's hometown, where we, where we raised the family. Uh, very quality piece of equipment, but I'll do a I'll, I'll do a separate review on that. Now, um, this is auto leveling, so it maintains supposed to maintain level, float mode. Uh, it, it's decent. It's decent. It's not a. It's not. It's not earth moving equipment, you know, it's a loader, right? It's for maneuver, moving uh, material, light materials and manure. So it's not a digging machine by any stretch of the imagination. So, but it is adequate, it does the job. I have moved snow with it. Um, let's just get this so we can talk. There you go. Huh, there you go. Uh, the TYM. 654 two-year review uh, like I said the only problem that I had with it was the windshield washer bottle broke it, it literally fell apart and uh, the dealership fixed me up with a brand new one no hassle uh, did my filter changes uh, the uh, fuel separator is pricey but you know the first stage second stage is the fuel filter is uh, it's, it's okay it's not pricey at all um, the big filters, they're not cheap, like they're 55 bucks a piece. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, I'll do a review on the two pieces of, well, I'll probably do the, do the, uh, the blade separate from the blower. The blower is nothing but a phenomenal piece of equipment. Um, uh, yeah, so. Oh yeah, other feature, sorry, was the, uh, front and rear winter washer, wiper and wash. So that's kind of good. Uh, it does have a dome light, tickety boo. There you go. Don't forget to shut it off because it uh, it will kill the battery. Uh, remotes. This only came with two rem two rears. There is a provision for a third. I'm gonna look into that and see what that entails to put that in. Uh, there's draft control, position of the the three point. Um, uh, I haven't got it. I'm gonna try maybe doing some plowing this year. We got to figure out what's going on for sure, and then we'll go foot throttle. Hand throttle. So there it is. That's it in a nutshell. A little uh, convenient pocket there to put the uh, the remote. My grandson thinks it's a cell phone, but that's okay. That's for the radio. Uh, cup holder on this side. 
So, you know what? It's for left-handed people because it's on the left side. So, I guess, uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know what else to tell you. Windows, the window pops out at the back. The windows pop out at the side. That's all kind of nice. Um, the, oh, sorry. The other thing, door locks freeze up, so keep them lubed in the wintertime. The water drips off the top of the cab and fr freezes up the door knobs. So that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, you got to, you know, keep an eye on them. That's something to look out for. But like I said, this motor, I'm beatable. So I'm going to go around, do some rust proofing on it. When the weather warms up, wax the hood. Do some top touch on the, on the paint. Keep her good. And hopefully, hopefully we'll figure out a way to make some deco, custom decals. I'll find a guy to make some. Because I just like nice stickers. Anyway, take care. There it is, the TYM 654. Uh, do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. Is it an expensive piece of equipment? Absolutely. Is it a lot of tractor for what I do with it? I got a big piece of property here and I move a lot of snow. Uh, so no, it's, it's, uh, it takes me an hour to do it with this tractor. Um, it's got the power to do it. No issues there. This says new front. You can see how deep the snow is. I mean, uh, it's still, you know, um, yeah, there's snow everywhere and it is deep. There's a shelter and it's, it was over half. It was all, all, even with the roof, you can see on the shed and this has been melting for a week now or better. So yeah, it's a great machine. Uh, no issues at all. I run AMS oil in the engine. Run what you want. That's what I do. Uh, keep the fuel filled up. Watch for water in the fuel. Uh, the battery uh, starting is phenomenal. Keep the battery charged. If it sits for long periods of time, charge the battery. Uh, I only ever plugged it in once just for shits and giggles and didn't really seem to make a difference on how well it started. Um, warm up time, probably 30 minutes. And when you get into the extreme cold, um, that's what the, the manual recommends. Uh, other than that, there's not a lot to say. Uh, hydraulics are good right off the hop. They're not sluggish as what you'd think. They're really decent. I mean, they're not screaming fast, but they're okay. I did put speed controls on my snow on my snow blur, but that's no problem with the tractor. That's that's a problem with the uh, not really a problem, but that's that's what's going on with the uh, um, snow blower, which I love. I love this, you know. Um, this machine, uh, you know, I'm I'm 56 years old. I got some problems, and you know, body's a little bit beat up, and uh, I, I try doing this with a hand snow blower. Forget it. So this machine's awesome. Would I buy another one? Absolutely. Um, if I needed a smaller tractor and we didn't have the Massey, yeah, I'd buy the smaller one, maybe with a Hydrostack transmission in it. If you got a small property and you're only going to do some some light, like light, light farming kind of stuff and um, snow moving, some loader work, then go with the Hydrostatic. There's, there's uh, you know, uh, no reason why you shouldn't. And then the next step is the electric shift shuttle from forward to reverse it's just a lever on the handle and then this is the full ag unit that uh um it's just designed for for field work so this is a field work tractor and uh I, you know i wish to heck i had the pro this place is all bush i wish i had the property to run some run some uh run some uh, implements but i'm going to try i'm going to clean some stuff up here maybe i'm just going to drop a plow on it and see what happens or we'll take it down to the other farm that's not cleared out either and do something. Everything's up in the air right now. Uh, COVID still messing everything up. Damn, I hate that. And uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, thanks for the new subscribers that came on board. Great to see you. I'm going to keep this 20 minutes. Uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for more content. If you want some content, please, please feel free to ask and I'll make the content for you if it's within my capabilities. Look for some new stuff coming. Uh, thanks for the request for the, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but thanks for the request for the review of the tractor. Yeah, go out and buy one. You won't be, you won't be dissatisfied, but you know, tailor it to what you need and, uh, you know, find a good dealer. We had an awesome dealer. So anyway, there you go. Uh, LJ Patterson's, uh, all over uh, New Brunswick. That was our dealer. If you need to know any more, please reach out. And uh, anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. And God bless. We'll see you soon.